Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Uh, today, this is part two of the 5-in-1 brush cutter series uh, that I purchased from eBay. I would suggest watching the unboxing video and I kind of go through what all this you know kind of stuff is and how it was in the box and and my first impressions of it. And uh, so here we go. Part two is going to be assembly. Uh, we're going to have some more parts after this. Don't know how many, but we'll see how it works out. Uh, so this is how everything comes out of the box. The brush cutter head is not assembled. Um, it has the washers and things on there for uh, for the the trimmer head, which is here, and the brush cutting blade, which is here. So let's start with that. Uh, I kind of feel comfortable doing this. Uh, I've put one of these not together before, but I have put a brush cutting blade on a trimmer before. So these are right handed, left handed threads, lefty, tighty, righty, loosey um, on here. So be careful with that. So it looks like the little bump guard comes off. Tell you what, I'm gonna get you in here a little closer so you can see. So what I've got here is the the trimmer head. Looks like it's preloaded with some line. That was generous. Uh, so it's a bump feed. And you know, if I don't like the head, uh, it's just a head. You can buy them at any store. And I, from the research I've done, this is a fairly common thread. I don't know what thread that is, but um, like, again, I don't need a, a string trimmer head. I might try that out later. But what I'm going to do is end up putting on the, um, the brush cutter blade. So let's get that get that out. That looks nice. Um, okay, it's a triangle kind of head that's reversible. It's kind of thin compared to some of my other blades that I've got uh, from my, my other brush cutters. But oh well. We're going to try it out anyway, so looks like that goes on there. So what I've got is the this adapter is just it's just like my Robins or any other of the brush cutters for that matter. Um, that spline goes on there like that. And this is keyed. It has a hole in the side here. This washer has a hole in the side of it, and then inside of here is a little groove. So you line all that up to lock this in place uh, with something. I would suggest. A screwdriver or I would say maybe this Allen wrench will work. Oh yeah. It doesn't have to be spectacular and there's no fancy tools or anything. I use an S an old S hook on a chain. I actually on my um on my Robin. So looks like yeah that's remember uh lefty tighty on this application. And it looks like we've got a uh multi-tool kind of thing here. Oh, that fits, okay. Uh, so again, it's, you know, kind of hold it still there and kind of muscle that down on there. This this tool doesn't feel nearly as, as robust as my tools that come with the Echo uh, chains or uh, Echo hedge trimmer I, I got or I got some some tools from Husqvarna chainsaws and it just just does not feel as durable but you saw it did the job right it, it got it on there so here's a little plug on the side this little plug I'm gonna check it pull that out and make sure there's grease in there I uh, well maybe one of these Allen wrenches fits that it's actually kinda nice that all the tools were well there you go the Allen wrench does fit it And that's that's in there. They've got a lock washer and an actual flat washer on this bolt. I hope it's not cross-threaded. It's really tight. Good gravy. Maybe they didn't tap it out, or the tap was was not the right thread or something. Golly. Anyway, all right. So let's get that out of there. All right. Well, it, there. I don't know if you can see in there, but there is some grease in there, so that'll that'll be good for now. I keep a close eye on those 
heads on my other ones, so I'll probably do the same to this too. Again, I didn't buy this for this attachment, but I uh, will try it out just to show you how it how it works. So, all right, so I've got a, um, a deflector here, and uh, I'm not sure exactly where this is supposed to go, uh, how far back, but I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess right up against there. That looks about right. So let's see. Here's a uh, here's a bracket right here. It looks like this bracket goes around around here, and then there's some some threaded uh, like nut inserts inserts in here that are pressed into the or molded into the deflector. So let's get this started. I'm gonna guess it's these bolts. These look like they have the right thread. They are the two, the two shorter ones that come in in the toolkit. Uh, here's the longer, the longer ones uh, are are this long. So you, there's the difference. So the shorter one is what we need. Uh, and nice of nice of the manufacturer to supply us with the with the Allen wrench, whatever I did with that thing. I don't think that's it. No, it's not. Uh, oh, here it is. Somehow I set it over there, but either way, here it is. And, uh, so. Let's see, we'll get that tightened down. I'm kind of hesitant to over tighten this, but um, I'm going to tighten it down until it pretty much stops. That'll work. Looks like I got it fairly square on there. Um, if I need to tweak it later, I can. Alright, so on the deflector, there is a, a cutter. A cutter here for the, for the grass. And it shows on the back here that the string goes that way. So this is rotating like that. So I'm going to guess that this is going to mount on there like that. So that's nice. And here's the, they've supplied these little silver pan head screws. So look like they're going to fit on there just fine. And the, the multi-tool has a has an Allen, Allen, a uh, Phillips head built into it, so I guess that's kind of nice. Although it doesn't fit the head very well. I tell you what, before I booger up those threads, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a real screwdriver and see if that makes a difference. I was gonna try to put this whole thing together with this tool kit, uh, but. I don't I don't want to mess this up this early in the game. I'll get them started with this. But I do have a, a different screwdriver. All right. I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'll get back back with you with the real screwdriver. All right, here we go again. I've I've got a uh, a little multi screwdriver here that comes in a in a tool kit of mine but I think it'll be adequate for what we need I'm still kinda of skipping a little bit let's try number two that was a number one. Oh yeah number two looks like it's gonna be the trick so number two Phillips oh yeah Okay, I, I don't like how flimsy that is, but I'm going to give it a shot and see um, how that works. So anyways, that's how you get that on there. So we got our deflector, we got our blade, uh, we got our little cutter on there, and all these come with a little plastic cap, which I'm going to leave that on there for now. Next, next up, we've got our power head and... Uh, looks like our handle here, um, I guess it goes, 
something like that. Sure. And then the bottom of it is this this little guy here. Now all of it looks like it goes around this rubber rubber baby buggy bumper. And yeah, so that's kind of an anti-vibration kind of deal. So it looks like it takes these long these long bolts and these nylock nuts. Let's see if that's the right, yeah. And they th just thread right down through the handle there. If I can get it in there. Alright. And then looks like maybe the smaller Allen wrench. There's a larger and a smaller one. I don't know what size they are, but they come in the kit. Maybe, maybe. Let's take a look. Ah, it is. All right. So this is like a captive uh, nut thing. So the the nut just sits down inside of there. I was trying to put it on there from the from the outside, but it does not look like that's going to work. So I'll try to get it lined up so it falls down in there. And this is proving to be challenging. Let's see. There it goes. All right. So that's in there. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, it's looking like that's going to work very much better. Perfect. All right. So same thing on all of this. Just going to flip this upside down for now. Get these nuts started. So it takes four nuts, four bolts. Pretty straightforward. Alright, got that one started. And this one here. It looks like we've pretty much used up all the little hardware out of the kit, so that, that might might be it for the random hardware stuff, which is nice, pretty straightforward. that started. Oops. Like that. There we go. Okay. Alright, so all I'm going to do is just tighten these down until, uh, you know, kind of can't tighten them anymore. And then we'll move on to uh, one of the next attachments. All right, I've got the got the handle on there, and that's how the little the little bar goes on it. So when you're weed eating and it kicks, it it catches you right here instead of coming all the way back. Supposedly, I ended up using my tool again. This is the same kind of tool, but I had a um, a T25 bit, and and that worked really well for going straight down and tightening up those those bolts but if you don't have that no problem at all because the allen wrench that's supplied with it worked fine it was just going to take a little longer that's all so uh this is done as far as i can tell other than putting gas in it uh, which we'll get to soon all right uh so next up we're going to look at the pole saw head and uh this has a has a little nut on the side of it. I'm guessing it's a uh, it's this 10 millimeter, and it is so that's nice. It it does fit. Got a little a little cover on it here. So let's see if we can find our um yeah the bar. There it is. So scabbard, bar, plastic, all that good stuff. So that's that. Um, I'll probably grease up. There's a little fitting right here, a little hole. You grease that up with a, uh, a bar uh, grease gun thing, and got that. Here's the here's the chain. Let's get that on there. Now we want to make sure we get it going the right direction, and it looks like 
there is a diagram right here above above everything hopefully you can see that and uh, it, it shows the direction of the chain going this way so we need to make sure we put put our chain on correctly oh and these can be a real bear oh I got lucky okay so uh, we want to make sure that the cutting part of the tooth here this this beveled part uh, and, the, and then the part here that has the um, and you'll see an arrow actually right right there on that tooth uh, so we want to make sure it goes like that so that the bottom the side closest to the tensioning uh, bolt is is going the arrows are following each other so let's load it on the bar so this is nice and small and compact pretty cool so yep so here we go well we can flip it around actually I'll do it like that it doesn't matter it has an up and a down I guess but either way alright so yeah so now I've got the bar with the chain and I've got the teeth that are going to cut down here so this goes around here and on to I don't know if you saw that so that's how everything goes on there so I've got the teeth that are pulling you know if it was going to be cutting like that it's going to be pulling toward the bottom away from the cap and the bar is in position in this groove and the tensioning bolt is in that hole right there and all of the teeth on the sprocket are in the sprocket so all the teeth on the chain are in the sprocket so uh, I am going to make sure that this is tight I guess and it looks good and we can go ahead and put our cover on that's all we had on there looks like I got out of the here we go so they did provide a a cute little flat screwdriver which is is nice it doesn't look nearly big enough to get the right tension on there but that's how you would tension it I'm just gonna pull that out just a little bit a little too much there we go so now my chain will stay in the the groove of the bar it fell out so there we go so that fit right on there this time and then this this nut is righty tighty and you would use the 10 millimeter side of the of the wrench now I'm not going to tighten that up yet I'm gonna leave it a little loose put a little downward pressure on it like that and then I'm gonna reach behind here on this little on this little bolt with this screwdriver and we're gonna tighten it up so I'm gonna push down on it and righty tighty I'm gonna tighten up that little the little bolt and we don't want a whole lot of slack in it but we don't want it super tight either that looks pretty good for now it'll probably heat up and stretch I'm sure this Chinese chain will um, stretch like a rubber band once you get a little heat on it so I'm sure I'll have to be retensioning that but either way it's on there and and working that's a little tight oh my gosh well maybe we'll loosen it up for now maybe the tip is just so dry yeah let's loosen that up for now take like a little quarter turn out of it or so yeah alright well that's working now you notice I'm pulling the chain so if my hand did slip I'm not pushing against the uh, the teeth so I'm not pulling it from the bottom I'm pulling it from the top and it's a little it's got a little spot that it hangs up but either way so this does have a zerk fitting on the the gear head here where the grease would go in here this bottle is for the bar oil uh, so evidently it pumps oil in that's probably an adjuster for how much oil you want to come out but uh, yeah, we'll pump oil in to the bar and lubricate the chain, the bar and chain for that matter, while you're running it. 
So that's it for that. And it looks like this assembly here is complete. There's no assembly required. That's exciting. Maybe we'll start with this. This is what I was kind of excited with to try out. But I'll give you a shot of what the, the teeth look like. They're nothing fancy. Um, it, it looks like it will be functional. So this handle is plastic right here. This is metal and that is metal. And you have to squeeze both of them to disengage it and, and move the head but it is fully articulating so that's kind of nice that it goes you know in all these different directions so you can you know trim with it like that or like that for that matter so um, but more on that to come now I did notice something that I might have forgotten and that is this this big metal washer this might be for the um, I don't have any washers like that on my other ones, but I don't see where I need it either way. So, eh. I'll hold on to it. If I find out I need it, I'll let you know. Uh, that, that all looks like it went on there just fine. Maybe it protects, no? Say maybe it protects the nut or something? I don't know. Either way. Alright, well let's, uh, let's get some gas in this thing and find out. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching part two. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, you learned you know how to get this stuff together. Um, I, I I did not find anybody who was actually assembling this stuff, but maybe there is. I don't know. I I um, I didn't look too hard. I just I wanted to do it anyway. So, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for part three.